All right, guys. I have actually been wanting to get a cell code so that I can show you how to pull the code on uh, your Prelude. Now, this is a third generation Prelude. So I'm going to show you the third. I'm going to show you where the fourth generation location is and the fifth generation location is. On the third generation location, um, you're going to have it right on that corner there. And uh, sometimes it's tucked in in here. This one, the little guy here, that's how to manually pull your code out of the ECU if your engine light comes on. I'll show you how to do it in a second. If you have a fourth gen, or actually if you have a fifth gen, what you want to do is go on the passenger side here and go right onto about a, a kick panel that you have located in here. Keep in mind, this is a third generation, so of course you don't have it. But it's a little kick panel that you have here that would come right off and then right behind it you'll have a plug and I think that one is blue. Don't quote me on it but it looks just like the one I just showed you. And then if you have a fourth generation Prelude, you're going to have it in the exact same location but instead it's going to be on the driver's side. So, and it's going to be in the same spot, you'll probably have to pull something off there, you'll see a little plug in the back and you're set to go. So basically all you have to do is get yourself a paper clip. I like to use these little little nifty pins here. So basically get yourself a paper clip or something that you can bridge this plug with and um, have a cover so you pull that out and basically all oh sorry I'm trying to hold my phone here all you want to do is jam you sorry I know you can't see right now but all you pretty much want to do, whoopsie, there we go, hold on, I almost, almost got it, here we go, all right, just jam the paper clip in there, and all you want to really create is just a bridge, so once you bridge that on your little connector there, I'm going to show you now how to read your code, what you want to do is you're gonna come up here and you're gonna look for that engine light. Give me a second. So you're gonna look for the engine light. Don't turn on the car, just turn on the ignition, okay? Basically what it is, is one long light equals 10, and then you'll, it'll be usually followed by a bunch of blinking ones, which each blinking one that's a quick one equals one. So here, I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Check my engine light. That's one, that's a long one. One, two, three, four five six seven so that's ten plus seven that's seventeen one that's ten one two three four five six seven so notice how the first one stays on for a while that's a long blink one that's ten and then one two three four five six seven so it's seventeen so that's my code seventeen so all I gotta do now is look it up see what the code seventeen means and I'm set to go now, a lot of times you might have two codes, so throw one number, and then it'll stop, like it is there, and then it'll throw the second number, okay? So keep track of it. Once you've gotten all your numbers, I would actually let it cycle a few times just to, to verify the numbers that you got, and then just uh, go online, or if you have a manual, look up a code, what it means, and your issue is solved. In this case, I have a long blink, which is 10, and then followed by seven blinks, which is seven so now I have a 17 and in this case it would be the VSS which is the velocity speed sensor or velocity I'm guessing that's what it stands for velocity speed sensor but it's the VSS and that's what's wrong on my car so now all I gotta do is replace that bad boy and we're set to go now if you don't know what the velocity speed sensor is I'll just show you real quick this is an H22 so this does apply to you um, you'll find it right here which is that bad boy right here so that's your velocity speed sensor I'm gonna zoom back so you can kind of see the area where it's at the intake transmission and it's right there so this is my problem we'll change it out and hope to get rid of the code thank you for watching and join BB Alliance TV on Facebook don't forget the TV